Shemuel Shani, 2 Samuel 13. And it came to pass after this that Avshalom, the son of David, had a fair sister whose name was Tamar, and Amnon, the son of David, loved her. And Amnon was so vexed that he fell sick for his sister Tamar, for she was a virgin, and Amnon thought it hard for him to do anything to her. But Amnon, rather, Amnon had a friend whose name was Yanadav, the son of Shema, David's brother. And Yanadav was a very subtle man. And he said unto him, Why are you being the king's son lean from day to day? Will you not tell me? And Amnon said unto him, I love Ethtemar, my brother Avshalom's sister. And Yahu Nadav said unto him, Lay down on your bed and make yourself sick. And when your father comes to see you, say unto him, I pray you, let my sister Tamar come and give me meat, and dress eth the meat in my sight, that I may see it and eat it at her hand. So Amnon lay down and made himself sick. And when the king was come to see him, Amnon said unto the king, I pray you, let Tamar, my sister, come and make me a couple of cakes in my sight, that I may eat at her hand. Then David sent home to Tamar, saying, Go now to your brother Amnon's house and dress his meat. So Tamar went to her brother Amnon's house, and he was laid down. And she took eth flour and kneaded it and made cakes in his sight and did bake the cakes. And she took eth a pan and poured them out before him, but he refused to eat. And Amnon said, Have out all men from me. And they went out, every man from him. And Amnon said unto Tamar, Bring the meat into the chamber, that I may eat of your hand. And Tamar took eth the cakes which she had made, and brought them into the chamber to Amnon, her brother. And when she had brought them unto him to eat, he took hold of her, and said unto her, Come, lie with me, my sister. And she answered him, Nay, my brother, do not force me, for no such thing ought to be done in Yashara'el. Do not you eth this folly. And I, whither shall I cause eth my shame to go? And as for you, you shall be as one of the fools in Yashara'el. But now, therefore, I pray you, Speak unto the king, for he will not withhold me from you. Howbeit he would not hearken unto her voice, but, being stronger than she, forced her and lay with her. Then Amnon hated her exceedingly, so that the hatred wherewith he hated her was greater than the love wherewith he loved her. Rather, he had loved her. And Amnon said unto her, Arise, be gone. And she said unto him, there is no cause. This evil in sending me away is greater than the other that you did unto me. But he would not hearken unto her. Then he called Eth his servant that ministered unto him and said, Put now Eth this woman out from me and bolt the door after her. And she had a garment of diverse colors upon her, for with such robes were the king's daughters that were virgins apparelled. Then his servant brought her out and bolted the door after her. And Tamar put ashes on her head and rent her garment of diverse colors that was on her and laid her hand on her head and went on crying. And Avshalom, her brother, said unto her, Has Amnon, your brother, been with you? But hold now your peace, my sister. He is your brother. Eth regard not this thing. So Tamar remained desolate in her brother Avshalom's house. 
But when King David heard eth of all these things, he was very wroth. And Avshalom spoke unto his brother Amnon, neither good nor bad. For Avshalom hated eth Amnon, because he had forced eth his sister Tamar. And it came to pass after two full years that Avshalom had sheep shearers in Baal Chatzor, which is beside Ephraim. And Avshalom invited all the king's sons. And Avshalom came to the king and said, Behold now, your servant has sheep shearers. Let the king, I beseech you, and his servants go with your servants. And the king said to Avshalom, Nay, my son, let us not all go now, rather, all now go, lest we be chargeable unto you. And he pressed him, howbeit he would not go, but blessed him. Then said Avshalom, If not, I pray you, let my brother Amnon go with us. And the king said unto him, Why should he go with you? But Avshalom pressed him, that he let Eth Amnon and Eth all the king's sons go with him. Now Avshalom had commanded Eth his servants, saying, Mark ye now when Amnon's heart is merry with wine, and when I say unto you, Smite Eth Amnon, then kill him. Fear not, I have not, rather, have not I commanded you? Be courageous and be valiant. And the servants of Avshalom did unto Amnon as Avshalom had commanded. Then all the king's sons arose, and every man got him up upon his mule and fled. And it came to pass, while they were in the way, that tidings came to David, saying, Avshalom has slain Eth all the king's sons, and there is not one of them left. Then the king arose and tore at his garments and lay on the earth, and all his servants stood by with their clothes rent. And Yonadav, the son of Shema, David's brother, answered and said, Let not my lord suppose that they have slain Eth all the young men, the king's sons. For Amnon only is dead, for by the appointment of Avshalom, this has been determined from the day that he forced at his sister, Tamar. Now therefore let not my lord the king take the thing to his heart to think that all the king's sons are dead, for Amnon only is dead. But Avshalom fled, and the young man that kept the watch lifted up at his eyes and looked, and behold, there came much people by the way of the hillside behind him. And... Yanadav said unto the king, Behold, the king's sons come. As your servant said, so it is. And it came to pass, as soon as he had made an end of speaking, that, behold, the king's sons came, and lifted up their voice and wept. And the king also, and all his servants wept very sore. But Avshalom fled and went to Talmai, a son of Amid, Hud, king of Geshur. And David mourned for his son every day. So Avshalom fled and went to Geshur and was there three years. And the soul of King David longed to go forth unto Avshalom, for he was comforted concerning Amnon, seeing he was dead.